Hey everyone, Magnus here, and in today's video, I've created a gift guide. So if you need ideas to give someone who is into music or music production a gift, those might be some items that you might consider. Uh, or if you are a music producer and you're looking to get something for the holidays or your birthday, uh, you might get some ideas from this video. Uh, these are all products that I've used myself and I'm still using. Uh, without further ado, let's take a look. So the first thing on the list is this Apple Mac Mini M1 computer. At the beginning of the year, Apple came out with these M1 chips for their computers. Uh, my MacBook Pro 2015 was getting pretty slow, so I needed an upgrade. However, I didn't want to spend over six, seven thousand dollars to get the heavy duty computers. Uh, they had Intel processors. I didn't know if I was supposed to get the Intel or M1 chip at the time. Uh, so I decided to get the Mac Mini until I figured out what I wanted long term. Uh, so far it's been really good, highly recommended. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, so yeah, I think I paid like 1400 all in uh, with it almost maxed out, except that I only got the one terabyte uh, memory. Also, what I really like about Apple computers is that you can get Logic Pro X for only $200 and you never have to pay for any update. Uh, some programs for music production, you have to pay for the updates, and it can be super annoying if you wanna have the latest update on your program. Uh, so that's what I really like about Apple and Logic. I never have to pay for the updates. Uh, Mac Mini M1, highly suggested. Next thing on the list, and what I think could be a great package for a holiday gift or a birthday gift, is studio headphones. Everyone who's into music production needs studio headphones. I have these Shure SR8440. Uh, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but these are great studio headphones. I got them for like $100 uh, and I used them for two or three years straight. Really love them. Um, highly recommend those. However, I upgraded into these studio headphones same brand, Shure 1540. Uh, these cost me around 400 bucks, I believe. Uh, the difference is personal opinion of if it's better or not. However, I really like these. I like the sound from those. Uh, they help me a lot with music production and mixing my projects. Uh, however, the other ones are really good, even though they're only 100 bucks or whatever. I would still use them today. I think when I got those, I probably didn't need them, but I thought they might be that much better. They might help me. They might do a little bit, but the other ones were really good. Uh, highly suggest these if you can afford them and you don't mind spending a little bit more. Uh, sure, SR8 1540. So the next thing on the list is this complete contact 49 key MIDI keyboard. Uh, I really like this MIDI keyboard, highly suggested. However, it's a little pricey. I believe I paid $600 for it. Uh, it has semi-weighted keys. It has some cool light features. And if you've got the contact program, you can connect it to your MIDI keyboard and you can play off some patches on the keyboard. Uh, I wanna mention though that for a MIDI keyboard, $600 is a lot. You can get like M Audio MIDI keyboard for probably around $100. Uh, so if you're on a budget or you might want to pick up other things like a microphone or an interface or something like that, and spending $600 on a keyboard is a lot. Uh, if I were starting out, I would start out with something cheaper, a $100 MIDI keyboard. Uh, that's what I did at least and I upgraded a few years later. Uh, however, if you don't mind spending a little bit of money, I really suggest the Contact MIDI keyboard. Next thing on the list is guitars. Uh, my favorite. Uh, when it comes to buying a guitar, if you're a music producer, songwriter, musician, or if you're someone giving a gift, that's a big big gift. It's possibly the best gift you can give anyone. Uh, 
I got a guitar when I was 14, I believe, and I played that thing until my fingers bled. And I loved it. It's the best gift I've ever gotten. And I would spend days and weeks inside my room playing the guitar. Um, so when it comes to buying guitars, it's, it's important to do it the right way. Uh, you can get cheap guitars, but getting cheap guitars means that you'll need to upgrade some other time. Meaning the money you spent on the cheap guitar will probably well, be worth nothing in a few years. Uh, so be careful when you buy a guitar, get something that's going to last. You might have to pay a little bit more, but I highly recommend either saving for it or getting something nice from the start out so that you don't have to replace it again. Uh, I got this guitar about seven years ago. I definitely didn't need it this expensive of a guitar I'll admit that, but I decided that I'm only gonna do this once with an acoustic guitar and I'm going to have it for the rest of my life. Uh, that's what I said then, I still say it, but that might change. Um, however, I got this Taylor 814 CE, it's the top of the line from Taylor. Um, when I bought this guitar, they had just come out with a new version of the guitar that also looks really cool in my opinion. However, I like this version better, uh, it's just more to my taste. Uh, good sounding guitar, a very bright sound. Uh, so for someone who's more into like blues or something like that, I would maybe recommend a Martin. Uh, but however, I own a Taylor, I've recorded all my stuff on this guitar and I really love it. The action on the Taylors is a bit easier in my opinion than the Martins. Uh, I'm comparing those two because the, those are the biggest brands. Um, the action on this one is really nice, meaning the strings are close to the fret, it's easy to play, it doesn't hurt my fingers a lot, uh, so I highly suggest the Taylor 814. However, if you're just starting out or if you want to give someone a nice gift, Taylor 214, 314, they are also really nice you don't need to get the top of the line uh, I was a little too fancy on it I'll admit but I just wanted to have it I knew I, I knew I was going to use it for the rest of my life and the prices rarely drop on these things so you might have a 20 year old guitar top of the line and the price might actually go up uh, it doesn't matter to me because I'm never selling it but just keep it in mind so another guitar that I have is Taylor GS Mini. Uh, I'll leave a link to all this stuff below, by the way. Uh, this guitar, highly recommended as well. I believe I got this one for 900, but you can get a similar version for like 650 or something, I believe. Um, this guitar is a small guitar, so it has less frets. The body is really small which means it's perfect for like kids around the age of maybe 10 to 14. Uh, and it's also a great gig guitar, so you can bring it anywhere, which is the reason why I got this. I didn't want to travel with my fancy studio guitar here all over. So I got this mini gig guitar. Uh, this one has some cool features, as you can tell. Uh, I got the top of the line in this brand as well. I couldn't help myself. Uh, so this guitar, great, and it also has a plug-in, so you can plug it into amps and stuff. Uh, action, pretty easy. So for kids starting out, or if you need a gig guitar, or you need just something to move around the house while you play with it, which is what I do with this guitar, uh, highly recommend this one. Taylor GS Mini, I'll leave a link below. Next thing on the list is an electric guitar. This is what I have. I have a Fender Telecaster Elite, I believe is what it's called. Maybe at one time it was called Deluxe, uh, so it might be a newer version. Um, I really love this guitar. I've made so many songs on it and it plays great. Highly recommended. <clears throat> this is a US version. Uh, you can get multiple versions of it. Uh, 
highly recommend getting Fender Telecaster or Stratocasters. They're great. Uh, so yeah, there we have the guitars. Then we have the studio speakers. These are Yamaha 8S8 speakers. Uh, really clear sound coming from those. Uh, I used to have KRK Rocket speakers, nothing wrong with them. Uh, however, I prefer these. Uh, it's just my preference. Uh, these go on sale on Guitar Center, I believe once a year. And it's actually at the Christmas time when they go on sale in the December month, if I remember correctly. Uh, they didn't go on sale for Black Friday, but a few weeks later. Uh, I believe each speaker is 350. Uh, I think I got each speaker for like 275 or something like that when I bought them. Uh, I've had these for like two or three years. Uh, highly suggested. Uh, super nice to mix my music and listen to it on the speakers. They're very flat. So the brightness and mids and lows hasn't been exaggerated much. However, the bass is a little less present, uh, present in these than some of the others that I've used. Anyway, really like these ones, uh, highly suggested. Yamaha 8S8. Next thing we have is microphones. Every music studio needs a microphone and every music producer needs a microphone, uh, whether it's in your home studio or not. Uh, you can get microphones and anywhere from like $100 and up to a few thousands of dollars depending on what you're getting. Uh, this is the microphone that I use the most, AKG 414 XL2. Uh, I'll leave all the information below. Comes in this fancy box, as you can see. You can record electric guitars from an amp, acoustic guitar, vocals, drums, background sounds. As you can tell, it comes with this little template over here where you can see all the information on how they recommend you record with the microphone. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. Uh, on to the next thing. Next thing on the list is external hard drives. Uh, I believe every music producer should have at least one of those, if not more, uh, to store their backups and projects. Uh, I, for example, keep all of my stuff on these. I have at least three of them. Uh, here's one of them and I've got a few more stored in my storage. Uh, this one is HDD, six terabytes. So I can actually put a lot of stuff on there. And uh, with these though, HDD, I don't put libraries and stuff on them and have them plugged into the computer at all times. Uh, this is just for storage, nothing else. I keep all my backups and stuff over here. This would be a great gift under uh, a Christmas tree or as a birthday present or whatever holiday you have in mind, uh, highly suggest getting external drives. Also, if you have a small hard drive on your computer, it's nice to have an external hard drive that's an SSD drive. Uh, this one I keep plugged in to my computer at all times. I keep sound libraries on these uh, recent projects that I may be working on. Uh, if I want to free up memory or something, I can put it on the storage. But this one I keep plugged in for stuff that I'm actually using. Uh, so let's say I have a project open, I want to use a specific sound that's not on the computer, it's on the external hard drive. So it needs to be an SSD one for faster processing. Uh, however, this one is pretty expensive. I believe I paid $400 for two terabytes of SSD. It's kind of pricey in my opinion, but it works really well, no issues with it, hasn't broken down. It's a small, uh, it's a small box, has a small SSD drive. The other one is pretty big since it's an HDD. Uh, anyway, this would be a great present if someone has a smaller hard drive on their computer. So I only have one terabyte on my computer and I don't want to fill it up with sound libraries and unnecessary stuff that I don't think needs to be on the actual computer. Highly recommend this one, I'll leave it in the link. Everyone who's making music in their home studio or in their bedroom, I think would really appreciate these small gift ideas that I'm about to show you now. Uh, the first thing I'm starting with is this light strips. I believe everyone is familiar with light strips. It's basically, well, light strips that you can hang around your room 
Uh, for example, I've got light strips all around my music studio over here. So if I turn off all the lights, I've got lights going on around the studio. Uh, I've got this remote even, and I can put on any color I want. I can put on different color schemes, so it'll change lights consistently. Uh, I can even put on some disco show or whatever. Uh, I keep it simple uh, in my studio, but highly suggest getting light strips with this remote. Um, kind of makes the studio more fun. Uh, which also brings me to this light bulb that you can connect to your phone uh, and it does the same thing, it changes lights. Uh, pretty cool, however this is like $30 and I think the light strips are like $10, $15, something like that. Uh, another light that I have is this wireless motion sensor LED light. Uh, this light is pretty cool. However, I don't use this as much. Uh, this is, I think the idea was made for like cabinets where you put this in the cabinet and when you're opening the cabinet at, light, uh, at night, the light will shine and you can see what's in, what kind of food and stuff is in the cabinet. Uh, I'll show you how it works. Here's the light. Just turn it on like that. Uh, and it's got this sort of, uh, I'm not sure what the English word is for it, but you can hook it up to a wall and it lights the room up. I've got a few of those, maybe five or six, and I put around the studio, so if I'm in the mood, I'll put them on and it makes the studio kind of nice. But you need to charge them, they only last for like a night. Uh, so if you're open to charging your lights, then that's fine. Uh, another thing, if you're a guitar player, piano player, or something like that, getting a chord book is pretty cool, actually. Uh, I bought this book myself, so let's say I can take, uh, let's see if I can find. So like I have C7, dominant seventh, whatever. I can find a chord and I can find a few places on the fret to play them. So it's nice being able to play, to study the chords. Uh, this was $7, this book. Uh, there are a bunch of those. Last gift idea that I want to mention is having a nice chair for your studio or your bedroom or wherever you make your music. Uh, sitting for hours and hours can be tiring, so having a bad chair is not ideal. Uh, I have this chair here that's pretty good. It's the Hermans. Don't remember the actual name of it. I'll leave a link below. But this is the one you'll see in most music studios. Um, I actually got this one for free. I was pretty lucky. I had a friend who wasn't using it, so I kind of adopted it. Um, however, I was using an IKEA chair for many years and it was perfectly fine. Maybe cost 50, 60 bucks. Uh, I'll leave a link of that one below as well. Uh, so having a nice chair, highly recommend that. And it's a great gift for anyone who's into music or creating music for hours and hours a day. So we've gone over some gift ideas and I hope you found something that would work well as a holiday gift. There are both expensive gifts and less expensive gifts on the list. So I believe there's something for everyone. Uh, if you found this helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and like this page. Uh, until next time, peace out.